In this video, I'm going to give you a valve installation tip when you're installing an irrigation system. Kelly Staggs here, American Irrigator, trying to make you a better irrigator. Don't forget to hit that subscribe button and give us a thumbs up if you like what you see. When you're designing an irrigation system, you break things up in different zones and each zone gets a valve. And now to, to figure out how many zones you're going to have or how to break them up, what you do is you've got to run all your hydraulics calculations, your pressure loss, your gallons per minute, and then you figure out it, how that matches to what kind of water you have as far as how much water you have and your pressure and all that kind of stuff. And then when it comes to the placement of these valves when you start installing it, there's a little bit of tricks and some things I want you to think about. There's a way to stay organized, but there's a way to also do it, install the valves for each zone that makes a lot of sense. You gotta plan ahead and you gotta think about what you're doing in order to do it this way. Let me show you something. Now we've got a landscape and irrigation project going on right here. And we've got this strip of grass, and I'm gonna kind of scroll down through here. We still got some grass to lay. But with this just front area here, where this grass is, we've got it split up into three different zones. Each zone gets a valve. Now, when we design this system, typically what we do is I just when I break out the zones, I'll place a valve in each one of these zones. But something you can do is you can place those valves in the middle of those, in the middle of those zones, or you can do what I did. And what I did is I brought this main line across. And ended up just manifolding them here that way they're all right here together i like to do it that way uh it's kind of six one way half a dozen another you could stick a, a valve here and stick a valve there i just wanted to save the main line and wire and then having to take my main line underneath the sidewalk it doesn't make a that much difference it's really just personal preference when it comes to that but if you're going to manifold these valves let me get down here in this valve box you can see what we've got we've got our three grass zones i've got a shut off valve before the valves and that way if something happens i can shut the water off there it makes it real easy and i've got a drip zone there looking at these valves here i've got them installed in the order that the zones are split out here in this grass section and so when i look at these valves i've got number one two and three and so this farthest right valve will run that furthest right zone and then the middle valve will run the middle zone. And then this last zone that's all the way toward the left here, that is this farthest left valve. And so if you plan this out when you're installing these valves to put them in order of the zones, when you come back to work on this or any time that anybody gets into this valve box, it makes sense that you, when you turn this valve on manually, that it runs the furthest one that way. And so I want you to think about that when you're manifolding these valves put them in the order that the zones are in it just makes sense and then it also you can look see this picture right here it also makes it look a lot cleaner and you keep your pipes straight when you do them in order and it just i know no one ever sees this but actually it looks good no pipes are crammed over one another they're just in line they're straight and it's kind of taking your insulation to the next level but think about how you're installing these valves. Put them in order of the way the zones are split out. So when you're installing the valves for your irrigation system, think about how the zones are laid out and if you're gonna manifold them, put them in order. That way when you go open that valve box and turn one on, it makes sense. The one on the left runs the zone far on the left and one on the right goes the one on the right. It makes it a lot easier when you come back and do any kind of repair work. And it also helps when you're wiring them up. That way you can kind of keep it straight in your head, but you can keep the wire straight when you go to the, into the controller. Biggest thing when you're installing an irrigation system and you, you're putting the valves in, don't just slap it in. Think about what you're doing, plan ahead, and stay organized on how you do it. It's going to make it a lot better, and it's really going to take your installation kind of to the next level. 